Hi, hello, this is Anup here and in this video we are going to see uh, the top 5 features of 2103 version of configuration manager. By the way, if you have not watched um, my previous videos related to 2103 primary server and secondary server upgrade, then I can link that to the description of the video. You can go ahead and watch those videos, right? What is the first feature I'm going to highlight today, right? The first one is deploy feature update with a task sequence. This was a very popular, this is still a very popular user voice item and um, I'm, I'm pretty excited that this feature is part of configuration manager production version now that is 2103 version okay now let's see how we can do this how, where is this feature exactly if you have an upgrade task sequence already created right then you can edit that this is the upgrade task sequence which i created then you can kind of edit it and by default if you go to upgrade operating system by default this would be selected this upgrade package should uh, would be selected in a, in all upgrade task sequence right in from 2103 onwards you can select this option install the following feature update and click on star and you can select the update package from here right so i have already selected 2004 version of windows 10 and we can have all the controls of task sequence right and the simplicity of windows 10 servicing okay that's good right okay now let's move to the second feature i wanted to highlight now the second feature I'm going to show in this video is software sender. There are some changes to the software sender customization option, right? So I think foreground color for software sender, right? This is the new option where this option can help us to brand our organization right in a, in a correct way for example if if your organization have a particular branding and you cannot do that with some phone colors right then for foreground color is very important right so with 2103 version you can use this option foreground color for software center now you can configure a custom color for the foreground font right let's look at the third one third feature which i am going to highlight if i go to monitoring and check the full evaluation status collection evaluation and full evaluation status now you can go ahead and check the status this is pretty pretty much useful right you can see total run time and last completion time ref next refresh time etc and the member changes right so this is available for full evaluation status and for incremental evaluation status so this is pretty much uh, interesting and very useful i think now let's see the third one right i'm oh, sorry the fourth one fourth feature i'm going to highlight is collection query improvements right and uh, there is some improvements in the preview options of collection query so let's see that preview and click on edit and if you click on preview you would be able to see the limit row return to 5000 so this is this is an option and there is an option to omit duplicate rows that means select the distinct 
rows right so this option is there and if you run and if you select only 5000 then it will only show the 5000 right for example if i show 3 over here and run it will only show the 3 okay it will only return the 3 and it shows you query execution elapsed time display result elapsed time etc etc so this is pretty much useful that is why this is my fourth feature which i want to highlight now let's look at the administration let's go to administration discovery method and look at the fifth feature i'm going to highlight in this video right so if i open up active directory user discovery you can see an option you click on edit and you can see an option to exclude some OUs right for user discovery so this is included in 2103 version of configuration manager okay so if I go over here and if I want to exclude one particular OU called HR and you can do that from here for the user discovery I think this feature was already there for system discovery, Active Directory system discovery, but with 2103 version, it got included into the Active Directory user discovery properties. So that was a quick video about top five features of 2103 version of Configuration Manager. Thank you all for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.